Everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, just me, 23, and this is going to be another zodiac sign reading. And Gemini, you are up. So this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Or if you're a cross watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Gemini on their in their chart, this is for you as well. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Gemini in your chart, or you're the person that you're dealing with does not have Gemini in their chart, there may be some messages in this video for you too. Um, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please leave comments, subscribe to my channel, as well as like my video. Um, if it does not resonate, please try your rising sign and your moon sign. Your rising sign is your ascendant sign. And in order for you to be able to get your ascendant sign, which is your rising sign, you have to have your name, your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, it will not pull up your full birth chart. Um, and you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury. So you can go to Cafe Astrology um, and to get your birth chart. That link is also in the description box of this video and all the videos that I have. Um, as well as um, the cards that I use in my videos have already been shuffled. If you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, the name of the cards are there in the description box. Um also want to say thank you to everybody that has been supporting me from the beginning as well as to my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to say that I am enjoying uh, helping everybody. I have gained a lot of different relationships from different people and I'm just seeing that I have been resonating with a lot of people and I'm just getting pure joy from that and happiness so I can't do nothing but thank you. Um, also, if you are interested in booking a reading with me, you can book me. Um, you can book the reading at goddessqueenjustme23 at gmail.com. My readings are $25 each, um, and it's for a 20 to 30 minute reading. So if you're interested in booking a reading with me, it's 20 to 30 minutes, and it's $25 each. Um, my information is also in my about me as well as in the description box of all the videos If you're not interested in booking a reading and you just want to do donations the link for donations is there too um, So let's go ahead and get started. So again, uh, let's go ahead and cut the cam the cut the cards on camera And of course I have my music in the background So I'm cutting all these cards, so I don't know which decks I'm going to be using. I'm just going to be using the ones that I'm guided to use. So, Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or if you're a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Gemini in your chart. So keep in mind, these can be vice versa readings. Um, it's either your energy, Gemini, or it's the person that you're dealing with energy, okay? So the overall energy that we have is the Queen of Cups. So when the Queen of Cups is reversed, um, this is about somebody feeling... Okay, so you could possibly, Gemini, be dealing with somebody that is a Scorpio, Cancer, 
are a Pisces um, and you're feeling like that this person is more on the status seeking um, or they could be feeling like you are more on the status seeking Gemini. Um, this is also about somebody being a people pleaser as well as just being overall deceptive. There could be some de something that happened and it was some type of deceptive um Something deceptive that this person could have done to you. Um, this is also about gossip. There could be some uh, gossip that's going on uh, between about you, Gemini, or um, there could be um, a, a water sign that is a gossiping about you as well as what I'm getting from this. Um, this is also about, you know, you just being overly emotional. There could be an ending um, between a relationship with somebody that has strong water in their chart. Um, you could be feeling like this person... Um, uh, pretty much put you in a situation where it caused you to feel like this person backstabbed you, but it made you feel a little bit more over emotional um, than the other person was. Um, but that's what I'm going through. Uh, the overall energy, I'm just seeing a lot of Geminis are going through, um, you know, some emotional conflict as far as, you know, uh, pain, heartache, um, some type of emotional pain. Um, there could have been a loss in a relationship. Um, or you just pretty much are wanting to remove yourself um, emotionally from possibly a, a water sign. Um, the next card that we have is the Two of Swords. And when the Two of Swords comes out, this is about conflicts. This is about, you know, you try, somebody needs to make some type of decision. Um, this is also about you, Gemini, taking, you know, the steps to balance your emotional, your emotions. Because like I was saying, if you are being very, um, over emotional right now I'm just seeing that you're trying to go in a place where you're able to balance your emotions okay and cause yourself to be a little bit more grounded this is also about pro procrastination when the two of sword comes out this is about somebody that's not willing to make some type of decision so there's some of y'all that are not making a decision and you're choosing to stay stuck um so there could be um a choice where two people have um, two choices or there could be a decision as far as, you know, you just wanting to make a decision on which way you're wanting to go. This could also be a job opportunity. Jim and I, you could have two different choices as far as a job situation and you're trying to make a decision on which job to take, which would be best for you. Um, the next card that we have is the two of wands and then when the two of wands is reversed um this is about um somebody being very um prideful um this is also about possibly like i said gemini you could be dealing with somebody that was a water sign that was very egotistical um this person could have been coming off a little bit conceited um there could have been also um where this is the reason why you're feeling like this person deceived you um they could have caught made you put you in a uh situation where they had to choose between two different people and it caused you to be a little bit over emotional is what I'm getting from this. Um, this person could have been a little bit more on the immature side. They possibly, you and this person had strong passion for each other, but this person was overall manipulative is what I'm getting from this. This is also the gossip card. So I'm just saying, again, there's a lot of gossip that's going on um, between, like I said, it could be a, 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 a water sign or a fire sign that is gossip Ping, um, that's causing conflicts in your life as well Gemini is what I'm getting from this too um, this is also when the page of wands is reversed um, this is about somebody feeling feeling a little bit rushed um, this is also about somebody going and making some type of decision you know but they they rushed into some type of decision and it couldn't involve sex with is this what with somebody somebody is dealing with a situation where they're feeling rushed where they rushed in a situation and it was more about the sex and now you're upset with yourself because you um, didn't, you didn't, like, you didn't put your complete emotions in the situation. You just went and rushed in, um, and it was more about sex than it was anything. And you got yourself stuck into a situation, possibly have a, dis a decision between a water sign and a fire sign is what I'm getting from this Gemini. Because the next card that we have is the sun card. And the sun card is uh, fire. Um, so I'm just seeing some of y'all, and that's the decision. You have a decision, Gemini, between a, somebody that has water in their chart or a fire sign, okay? And one of the relationships you rushed into just having sex, and the other one you basically have an emotional connection to is what I'm getting from that. But at the same time, I feel that you know that you were not thinking um, like logically. 
you were not thinking logically. You were just thinking more about the passion, the lust. Um, you know, it was a, a strong passion, a strong connection that you had with this person. And now it's causing you to have conflict within yourself where you know you need to make some type of decision um, is what I'm getting from that. So that's so strongly for somebody, okay? Somebody needed to hear that. Um, but so let's go out from that situation and then move on to the, the other situation. Um, some of y'all are Gemini um, feeling uh, that the person that you're dealing with is very immature. Um, this person, like I said, could have been more of the one that was in and out of the situation. Um, the Page of Wands is also about... Um, Some of y'all are shattered, like as far as when it comes to making a decision, you are having a lot of um, conflict because like I said, one of them you have passion for and the other one you are emotionally tied to and it's causing you to have um, conflicts within yourself and you don't know exactly which way to go. And that's the reason why it's like it's causing the the your your the way that you're thinking Gemini if this is you are cross watcher um that's watching this that's g dealing with the Gemini and one of the Gemini is one of the choices um one of them you are more um you're just dealing you're more uh sexually attracted to them are and then the other one you are more emotionally attracted to the other person is what I'm getting from this and it's causing you to have a major conflict within yourself and you know you need to make a choice because at the same time it's causing you to be a little bit over emotional as well as causing you to be a little bit immature because at the same time you are um you know you're stuck in a hard place because you don't know which decision that you need to make okay um, but I do see that some of y'all Geminis are going to be going through a new beginning. This is the, when the sun card comes out, this is about destiny. This is also about, you know, you being overall, um, accepting yourself. Um, this is also about you having some type of gain. This is also Gemini about you standing more in your masculine energy and you being more, um, you know, uh, ambitious as well as being more headstrong. Um, there could possibly, like I was saying, there going to be a promotion that is going to be happening after you make a decision. If you make, uh, if you have two different job choices, um, then there's going to be a new promotion that's going to be taking, a, um, taking effect. Um, but this is also about you getting a new life. This is also about you being, um, you know, that new promotion is also going to cause you to be a little bit more wealthy, a little bit more abundant. Um, there possibly could be, like I said, somebody um, that is um, dealing with a fire sign that you in this fire sign, if this is a fire sign that was in the past, that uh, puts you in some type of third party situation and you had to remove yourself away from this person. I'm feeling like this person wants to come back and have some type of playfulness. Um, they see you as the person um, that they are emotionally, um, they are emotionally um, satisfied with. Okay. And I see that somebody is going to be coming back. It could be possibly, like I said, a fire sign that's coming back from your past and that and it's going to cause you to have to make a decision if you want to be with this person or not okay um because possibly you removed yourself from them emotionally is what i'm getting from this okay so let's keep moving forward okay so what do i want to grab okay so let's go ahead and go to um Some of the some of the things that are hidden, Gemini. Some of the things that are hidden that you are not aware of. Okay. Okay. Okay, so some of y'all Geminis, um, the things that are hidden that you are not aware of, um, if the, you're dealing with somebody that is a earth sign, an earth sign, okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles here, okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is reversed, um, this earth sign is dealing with, um,
Okay. This earth sign sees you as a um, your their other half. Um, we have the king of cups and the queen of cups here. Um, they see you as your other half, but they need to gain the confidence in order for them to be able to um, be truthful and express to you exactly how much they really love you or how much they really want to, how much they really have a connection with you. In the past, they possibly were the one that was not um, investing in the relationship. They possibly also, you saw this person as somebody that was very slow moving when it came to them giving you the offer, an offer. Um, this is also about them being a little bit irresponsible. So they could have been um, very irresponsible in the past um, and also dealing with some type of insecurities as far as um, conflicts within their self is what I'm getting. Um, this person also could be having some type of issues as far as um, uh uh, money and then also could be having some issues as far as their self-esteem which is causing them to stay stuck is what i'm getting but overall they do see you as the queen of cups they do see you as the person that they can emotionally um, be in a relationship with they do see you as their other half um, this person possibly puts you in conflict um, are they right now are going through some type of conflict which is causing them um, to um uh, feel like they're going through some type of karma. They are feeling a little bit um, defeated as well as going through the pain. Um, they possibly could also be feeling a little bit betrayed in a situation. Um, this person had to go um, within and do some type of physical healing. Um, they are possibly resting right now and they're not moving. Um, and this is the reason why you're 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 feeling like this person is slow moving. They're not they're not moving is because they are going through some type of. Uh, uh, conflicts within their self and it's causing them that where they have to go within um but i do see in the past they were not giving you um some type of um fair treatment when the judgment card comes out this is about you know refusing the change they possibly were refusing the change in the situation they were possibly also you know uh um uh Like they were also possibly the one that was um, fearing the change of giving some type of commitment is what I'm getting from this as well. Um, but this is also when the judgment card comes out reversed. They're possibly somebody that's going through some type of lawsuit or some type of loss in money. And that's the reason why you don't know Gemini um, are cross watchers. You don't know that this what's going on with this person because somebody's going through some type of lawsuit or somebody's going through their karma. Um, and this is the reason why this person is not um, has, has no movement. Um, and they're having to, like I said, go through basically conflicts within their self. Um, but at the same time, they are, um, they're, they're also feeling the pain. Um, the next card that we have is the Ace of Swords, uh, the Ace of Wands. So when the Ace of Wands comes out, this is about somebody gaining some type of new spark, some type of new inspiration. So I do see that this person is going to get gain the, the, they're, they're going through the conflicts right now. Like I was saying, some dealing with, um, lawsuits or money, um, issues. Some people are dealing with confidence within their self that they have to, um, gain confidence in order for them to move forward. Um, some people are dealing with, um, somebody that is holding them back and some of them are feeling like they are stuck um, in a certain situation but they know that um, there's good and that's the karma that they're going through is what I'm getting from this but somebody is going to be getting some type of new beginning this is also about them over you know dominating the situation so some of them are going to gain the courage and when they do gain the courage they're going to be able to come in and express exactly how much they feel about you regardless if this is a Gemini man or a Gemini woman um, I just see that this person is going to be um, in the end coming in and expressing after they go through their conflicts is what I'm getting okay so what we have here, let me put the cards down again before I forget. So we have um, the judgment card come out, which judgment is fire. So that is Leo, Sagittarius, um, and then also um, uh, Aries. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles, which the Knight of Pentacles is Earth sign, which is um, Virgo, uh, Capricorn, and then um, Taurus. And then we have King of Cups and Queen of Cups, which is the um, Cancer, Scorpio, and then Pisces. And then we have the Strength card, which is Leo. Um, we don't have any air here. Um, no air here. Um, the more air is just more of the mental conflicts that this person is going through. Um, and like I said, they're going through their karma. Um, somebody is getting ready to be judged in a situation um, because of they're going through their karma. So this is the what I have so far.
Okay. Be yourself is what we have for the overall energy. This situation calls for you to be your um, authentic self, which is the basis of your personal power. So I'm just seeing that a lot of y'all need to be more about yourself um, and not worry about situations that has to do with other people. The more that you be about yourself, the more that you, um, you realize your worth. Um, some of y'all are dealing with a lot of self-esteem issues is what I'm getting from this and it's causing you to um, lose your individuality. Um, some of y'all need to go within um, and make it just be more about yourself. The more that you have your self-respect, the more that you have the, um, you, you put in that focus to you with, for you and you worry more about you, it's going to cause you to have, um, you know, your cycle to move forward and it's going to cause you to not feel like you're in a karmic um, you know, a karmic relationship or a karmic, um, you know, you just going through overall karmic is what I'm getting is that so you be in yourself. Some of y'all are hiding and you are not wanting to shine. Some of y'all um, are not, you know, you just have to basically gain that confidence back within yourself. OK, some of y'all have lost the confidence within yourself and it's causing you to lose yourself is what I'm getting from this. So they're saying your ancestors, your higher self, the high, the um, you know, who you see as God, the universe, whatever they're telling you to be yourself, be your unique self. And the reason why I say that, because we have expressed your individual individuality, allow your true self to shine because you are awesome. And a lot of y'all have been dealing with a lot of conflict and a lot of heartache, which caused you to be a little bit emotional, which caused you to be, you know, this nasty person within, within yourself. And it caused you to lose yourself. So I'm just seeing if you were going through something that was causing you to, that was a lot of emotional pain i'm just saying you need to express yourself be you be you and you are very unique knowing that you are unique and you're different from everybody else and nobody can take that from you is what i'm getting from this so you walking with your head your, your head held high you having that confidence and you just knowing that you are the shit okay jim and i are cross watcher you are the shit regardless of what nobody say okay um, flower power is coming out because some of y'all need to heal um, the confidence within yourself um, to gain that confidence back. So they're telling you also be around flowers, go get you flowers, go buy yourself flowers, go buy you a plant, put it in your house, put it in your surroundings, in your work, your workplace. And you'll see that that energy of the flower with that power, the flowers and plants will heal you. Um, those are herbs. Like I was thinking a lot of people don't know that, you know, the trees the are, you know, flowers, all that stuff is here to help us. It's all a part of nature. And this is saying spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power so once you do that it's going to cause you to be able to heal um yourself it's going to cause you to be able to gain, gain um more you know gain clarity within yourself and it's going to cause you to be a little bit more assertive so this is about telling you assertiveness this is basically you standing up for your beliefs and you only saying yes if you really want to so some of y'all are going to be going through a situation where you're going to be going through a situation where people are going to be challenging you and you still need to stand up for who you really are you being yourself that's who you are you standing up and you expressing who you are what your purpose is nobody can take that away from you don't let nobody take your beliefs from you if somebody is there to take away from your, your beliefs or not willing to you know um see your way in a certain thing and you know what i mean like if somebody is there just to put you down or they're just to purposely purposely hurt you you removing yourself completely away from that person so you being a little bit more assertive and you being a little bit more saying hey i don't deserve this you being more selfish about you and you standing up for what you believe is what I'm getting from this, okay? Also, you not saying yes, you possibly, Gemini or Crosswatcher could have been the one that was always just going with the flow, always the one that was um, sacrificing your emotions in order for you to do something. And I'm just seeing now that you have the power to make a decision and that could be the reason why, like I said, some of y'all are battling because y'all are people pleasers. Some of y'all are status seeking and you're more about what other other people think stop thinking that way it's causing you to have a lot of mental conflict and you need to be more about yourself forget what everybody else say 
forget for a while how everybody else, you know, of their opinion, you being more about yourself is what I'm getting. Some of y'all are basically going to gain some type of clarity and some of y'all are going to be wanting to um, give some type of marriage proposal. Some of y'all are wanting to move up into a, a, a higher step of some type of commitment. So this is the basically the fairies is coming out. The fairies join you in celebrating wedding bliss. So there could be possibly a wedding that's going to be taking place or somebody could be getting some type of proposal. Um, there could be a marriage that's going to be taking place in the spring or they could be receiving you could be receiving a ring in the spring gemini your desires fully manifest as flowers begin to bloom um so there could be a lot of different changes that takes place in the spring um the next card that we have is the uh goodbye to the old hello to the new so there could be some of y'all like i was saying that is going to be um um um, cutting yourself away from a water sign or a fire sign. Um, there possibly could be a fire sign that's coming back from your past. And this person basically went through some type of mental um, conflict as well as having to make some type of decisions in order for them to gain the confidence, in order for them to be able to give some type of offer is what I'm getting from this. So now this person is going to come back as a new person um, when this person comes in. But this is also about goodbye to the old and hello to the new. So again, you finished one path of your life and now a new one is even better part of the now okay and now a new and even better part is beginning so i was saying some of y'all are going to be getting a new brand new beginning because we have the star card here and that was about brand new beginning that was about a brand new life so some of y'all are going to be going through a major transformation a lot of y'all could be seeing a lot of butterflies or dragonflies is what i'm getting from this too or a lot of y'all could also just be more um in tune with yourself spiritually um, and then, like I was saying, some Geminis are in more in tune with their self spiritually. And, you know, um, you know, you went through a major transformation and now you're saying goodbye to that old person. And now you're saying hello to the new me. And you're going to be expressing your individuality a little bit more because now you have gained the confidence within yourself. OK, and that's what I'm getting so far from the fairies. OK, so let's go here. I did not was saying somebody wanted some playfulness. Okay, so again, like I was saying, there possibly could be a fire sign or somebody that has strong earth in their chart because of the way, oh, where, I, where I'm thinking, of, I'm looking at the placements of the cards and I'm remembering. Um, so there could be somebody that has earth in their chart or fire in their chart um, that's wanting to have some type of playfulness. They're wanting to come back and give you some type of playfulness. This is also about you and this person spending a long time, you and this person, you know, gaining to clarity and you realizing the the attraction that y'all have for each other. Um, this is, so it's basically saying to rec recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So some of y'all are going to be a little bit more um, childlike when it comes to you um, reconnecting with this person is what I'm getting. Um, you and this person is going to be going on a retreat. Um, it's time to disconnect from the world. So now I just believe that you and this person has mutual understanding that y'all need to disconnect. Y'all get need to basically get to know each other. Um, that's the reason why also that be yourself is coming out. So y'all want to be yourself around each other. If you see this is a woman in a wedding gown and a, and a man in his tuxedo. So like I was saying, some of y'all are going to be retreating from a situation in the spring because y'all are going to be on your honeymoon is what I'm getting from this. So somebody is going to be ha getting married in the spring and y'all are going to be retreating and y'all finally are going to be able to disconnect from the world is what I'm getting from this too. Um, Some of y'all are going to be having some type of separation as far as, like I said, could be a, a water sign or a fire sign. Um, You finding out that this person was more of an unrequired love. Um, This is a, somebody that was not your soulmate. Um, There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And so I'm just seeing that some of y'all could possibly also be um there could be a divorce um also that's taking place because the marriage card did come out and then also the retreat card so some of y'all possibly are going to be um retreating from a marriage is what i'm getting um so hopefully this resonated with you keep in mind that if it does not resonate try your moon sign and your rising sign and gemini's i want to say thank you for watching my videos and if it does resonate leave comments and subscribe to my channel thank you and you have a great day